Welcome to Writing and Research 102. I'm Corey Baden, and I get to be your professor this semester. Uh, I'm looking forward to it because this is uh, my, my first semester at Concordia. And, you know, I've been a writing teacher my entire career, but this is the first opportunity I get to work with people your age. So this course will uh, be a rigorous one, and it will offer some challenges because it's a distance learning class. It's an online class. We will have few meetings, and I'm, I'm going to try and arrange a few face-to-face -face meetings, times when we can offer encouragement and support for one another's writing. But I realize that all of you have uh, busy schedules, and so I'm not going to rely on that. Instead, I'm going to rely on all of you to, uh, to be self-motivated, to be able to take care of the items in the syllabus that is on Blackboard. And also, uh, the one it's the same one that I emailed you, although uh, there will be some revisions as time goes on because this is the first time I'm teaching the course, and I want to make sure that I respond to you in the conditions on the ground. So a little bit about myself. I'm sitting here. Uh, I'm coming to you from San Francisco, my room in a flat here in San Francisco. I actually also teach at uh, uh, Zion Lutheran School in San Francisco. It's a fantastic location right by Golden Gate Park. And uh, it's pretty phenomenal to be able to teach students in a place where basically the whole city is their classroom. I hope that you can be inspired by that too. Uh, there will be a couple of readings that I give you where I'm able to connect uh, my life here and uh, the writing assignments that I'd like you to do. But, uh, you know, I hope that you're inspired by your location as well, wherever you are, whether it's a dorm room or whether you're, you're working outside somewhere with Wi-Fi or whether you're actually a commuter student. So a little bit more about myself. I've been teaching for more than 20 years and mainly at the junior high and high school levels. I have been a teacher here in San Francisco twice. This is the second time around for me. I've also been a teacher in Colorado twice. And finally, I've been a teacher in Taiwan twice. Uh, I honestly, I taught in Taiwan longer than any other place. <clears throat> I was a teacher there for 11 years altogether. I met my wife there, and <clears throat> together we were able to somehow raise two children, one of whom is now in, in college at Emory University in Atlanta, and the other is a senior in high school trying to figure out where she wants to go. And I am continuing to kind of plant the seeds that Concordia is a fantastic place, and I hope that she gets to go to Concordia, and, and maybe you'll get to know her someday. <clears throat> So a little bit about how this course is going to work. Um, when I uh, open up Blackboard to you, which will be tomorrow morning, uh, it'll be the first day of classes. And that might seem a little late for some of you, but I just want you to know that this is a course where we're not having class meetings during the first week or the second week. Uh, it's it's going to be something that we're going to be communicating by email with, and, and so email and, and also other other vehicles. Uh, I uh, I want you to know that I've organized the class into three week units. There are five three week units. So weeks one, two, and three are uh, a, an opportunity for you to read and to do some self-paced lessons, and basically then you respond, and you'll have assessments that, that happen pretty much every week. And if you look at the syllabus, you'll see that there are quite a few areas that we're covering. And so let me just go over them really quickly. The first area is um, the craft of research, and that's your text for this semester. It's a really unique writing text. I've taught with a lot of books, and this one 
takes a good amount of time to help you write quality sentences and, and really focuses on helping you express yourself. And I'm, I'm glad that we have a textbook like that. It's not the kind of book that will tell you all about grammar or all about how to use the MLA format. There are other resources that we can use for that. So uh, the, the craft of research text will be something you're responsible for in chunks. There, there are five units in the textbook. And so those five units correspond with our five units in this class. And so you'll be reading from the craft of research and you'll also have some other readings. Three weeks is a big unit in college. And so uh, I, I want you to know that I'm not trying to pour it on, but I think that you will definitely be capable of reading the things that, that are assigned. So you'll have some creative stories that you get to read and uh, hopefully be inspired by them. Uh, so the, that's the first component, reading the text, and then you'll also have quizzes that measure how well you've understood and, and studied that text. And those, those quizzes will be on the syllabus, and I'll try to continually give you reminders. The grammar component of this class is something that I do believe in, but not in the old-fashioned way. I do believe that there are certain things that can help you uh, fine-tune your writing. And so we'll have grammar lessons that you have access to. You'll read the grammar lesson, and then you'll take a quiz based on that grammar lesson. And so we'll have a series of those. You'll also be reading... Uh, again, you'll, you'll be reading the craft of research text, but you'll be reading some other articles and stories. And what I'm asking you to do is to do summaries of the things that you read. And you'll do 10 summaries in all over the course of a whole semester. You know, semester is 15 or 16 weeks. And so you're looking at approximately a summary a week. It's not long, but it is important. It's important to, to give me feedback about how things are being communicated, but also I can give you feedback about how your progress is. The next thing is discussion boards. Discussion boards, uh, discussion topics and threads are going to be presented each unit, and it's your job to respond to those. Those can be pretty lengthy, but they can also be pretty free form. There's a lot of freedom there. You're going to be watching a, a, a media clip or reading uh, an article and you're going to be responding to it and basically you're creating the classroom that we won't have two or three times a week as a, a normal cl college class would. So the discussion board posts should be 300 words, okay, 300 words and you should have one external resource included. So say you, you, know, you use the media clip or you use an article and you want to quote from that, and you want to uh, cite it according to MLA conventions. And MLA is something, it, it, it actually, there are so many resources out there now to help you do the MLA. And so I'm going to be talking a lot about the two OWLs. OWL stands for Online Writing Lab. And there's an OWL at CUI, at Concordia. And that is an OWL that you can submit papers to online and they will actually give you feedback. It's a part of the package of you being a student at Concordia. You get this assistance, but I want you to know it's required when the assignment says that you must submit to OWL, uh, you know, two days in advance of an assignment being turned in. That's a very important thing and I'll be, I'll be checking with uh, Dr. Schmidt in the, the, the writing lab to make sure that that that's happening and that you are connecting with them. So uh, the other OWL is at Purdue University, and it's not something you submit papers to, but it's a great resource. It tells you how to do MLA, and that means when you use sources for your research, it tells you how to cite them. It tells you how to write a college paper, the formatting, what headings you use, uh, all, all the things that are nuts and bolts of of college level writing assignments. And I'm hoping a lot of you did that you know, in, in earlier years of your education. So uh, just know that the discussion board, it's, I, I want to know your opinions and so please feel free to share 
and it doesn't all have to be technical and it's not you're not expected to summarize in fact i don't really want you to summarize i want you to respond and and start conversations on the discussion board uh, there's another component that is called application assignments and these application assignments are in blue on the syllabus so when you look at the syllabus as a pdf you'll see blue uh, text when it's blue it's optional the devotional readings from uh, the Bible, you know, the, the spiritual component of this class, it is an optional component, but it's one that can really enrich your experience. And I've tried, I tried to uh, create and, and, and post devotions that might help you in, in all of your life. But uh, just know that the devotionals are optional and the application uh, assignments, they're, they're, expected and I do expect that I see participation in those activities but I realize that sometimes it may be a lot to juggle so please do everything on the syllabus but prioritize uh, the analysis assignments excuse me the the application assignments will be submitted in, into a blog so other people will see how you are participating just as you would have in a normal class and those application assignments, uh, and basically they can, if you don't do participation in those things, it can bring down your grade a half grade at the end of the semester. If you do excellent participation, it can actually boost your grade. If I have to make a, a decision between uh, an A, A minus, B, B plus, that kind of thing, it's going to depend on that participation. And you have three initial writing assignments for the first three units. These writing assignments are training you in different skills and hopefully you'll be able to connect to them and there'll be things that you're interested in. I really hope that. The fourth paper is actually broken into seven parts. There are four chunks that are submitted and then there are three drafts and it's a research paper. It's an argument paper, a position argument paper. And so just know that it will be a long process and I'll be giving you all uh, lots of feedback through videos and hopefully through our our face-to-face -face sessions when we can arrange those uh, so the list is in your syllabus and I'm not going to go through all those uh, please know that we use something called safe assign which checks for plagiarism and so this is a, an environment and a, a situation where we have to trust one another and I would just ask that you're honest and have integrity with all of your work and that you remember that getting behind in this kind of a class is, is unacceptable. You, you can't do it to yourself and you can't do it to your professor. I have to grade things in a timely manner, so please help me out. So Safe Assign is basically a, a, a platform and a portal where you will click on the assignment and it'll open up and you can attach a document and that's how you'll submit. Uh, the quizzes also will be all online you need to know that there are certain guidelines for those quizzes. Uh, they are timed, but generally speaking, you will have access to the materials uh, that we have gone through, whether it's the text or grammar uh, lessons. And uh, I, I just want you to know that the important thing is communication. Letting me know how you're doing. Letting me, letting me know how I can help you. I realize for some of you this may be a jump to light speed. And the expectations may be very, very high. Uh, but just know this is, this is college level writing. And uh, I, I realize that it's hard, but I know all of you are capable. And I'm looking forward to reading your writing. I'm looking forward to walking with you on this journey. And I thank you for for towing the line and pressing on uh, because it's, it's, it is a race. And before we know it, we'll be in December and you'll have finished a very valuable and critical course in your college career. So I hope this has helped explain kind of an overview of the course. And I look forward to getting to know you a little bit better. I'm gonna try and share myself as much as I can through these, these videos. I call these videos flipcasts because it's a classroom that's flipped around. This is in my home. It's not in the classroom. So 
we're all you know outside of the typical classroom. And please watch those flipcasts and so we can get to know each other better. Have a great weekend here and, and it's weekends coming to an end, but have a great first week of school. I look forward to connecting with you. Take care. God bless you.